This video is the next to my series called uh, The Wonderful uh, Wizards of Access. And in this one, we're going to talk about uh, a very powerful wizard that's called the Report Wizard. And with the Report Wizard, I can make a very nice report with subtotals and grand totals in just a few minutes. So um, let's take a look at this orders table. <coughs> Here we have a bunch of order transactions, and uh, we have an order ID, the customer, the order date, and at the end we have the order amount. So notice how there's 449 transactions. I would like to make a report that lists uh, the orders by customer, and then for each customer I'd like to have a subtotal, and then I'd like to have a, um, a grand total at the very bottom of the report, and on each page I want page numbers. Uh, so we can do that report pretty quickly with the report wizard. So we're going to pick on the Create menu up top, Create. Then we're going to come over here and we'll say Report Wizard. And the screen's going to start. Now you can either make a report from a table or a query. So here you're going to pick your table or your query. And I'm going to, I am going to pick the table orders. Now I'm going to pick the fields. I'm going to pick on Customer ID by double clicking, Order ID, Order Date, and then we'll scroll down and we'll find order amount. Now you can pick more fields than that, but this will make the point that I'm trying to make. I have customer ID, order ID, order date, and order amount. I'm going to pick on next. Now it's asking for grouping levels. If you want subtotals, you certainly want to have grouping levels, at least one. So let's say we want to do subtotals by customer. I want to double click on customer ID. And now that's become promoted above the rest of the fields. So that means all the items for the same customer will be grouped together. And then also that will give you the option to do subtotals by customer. So when you want subtotals, it's very important that you would have um, at least one grouping level. If you wanted subtotals within subtotals, then you add additional grouping levels as necessary. I'm going to pick on Next. Now within that customer, then I can um, sort it even further. Let's sort it by order date. And I can have up to four more sort levels and then each one can be ascending or descending independently. So our report is going to be sorted first by customer ID and then by order date within customer ID. Now here's a very important option. Let's click on summary options. And this allows you to uh, do different mathematical calculations with your number fields. So we're going to sum order amount and we can also do an average or a minimum or a maximum. Notice over here we can even do a percent of total. So those are the ones that come with the wizard. You can always add your own calculations after the wizard is done. Right now we'll do a sum for the order amount field. Uh, I'm going to click on OK. And that was the summary options. We're going to pick on Next. Now you have to experiment with how you like to see the, these reports and see which one is going to look good for you. Uh, in this case, I'll choose stepped, and that way the customer will kind of be above the other fields. Then um, I can make mine portrait. If, you ha if I had a lot of fields, I would make it landscape. Also, if you had a lot of fields, I might pick this choice. It says adjust the field with so all fields fit on one page. But we only have three or four fields. We'll be fine. We'll pe uh, pick on next. And that's it for the entire wizard. Uh, now, I'm going to give this a name. I'm going to say orders by customer. I'm going to go ahead and pick on Finish. And let's see what kind of report the wizard made for us. So you see this customer ID over here. That's the grouping. And then at the bottom of each customer, it gave you a subtotal. And it did that all the way down. Here's a customer with, uh, with six orders. And there's the subtotal. By the way, if you look really closely, it also gives you the sub count for the uh, customer as well. That's the grouping. Uh, at the bottom of each page, I have the, um, the date and the page number. That was built right into the wizard. Now, let's go to the next page, and you'll see it continues to group it by customer. Each customer has a subtotal and a sub count. Now, let's go to the last page. On the last page, we even have a grand total. So, uh, in just a couple minutes, using the report wizard, we have a report that has subtotals and grand totals page numbers on every page. I mean, he, we have a really nice looking report here. Now, of course, if you want to make changes to that report, you can always go back to Design View. 
and make your changes here. But that report wizard made a pretty nice report and it really wasn't that difficult to do. As you can see now we have a nice report with subtotals and grand totals on the bottom and each page has the page number and the date because of a very powerful wizard it's called the report wizard.